Hi, I'm Jose Antonio Vargas. I'm the founder of Define American and the writer and fi- on director of a film called Documented. Three years ago, when I outed myself in the New York Times, we founded a group called Define American, defineamerican.com, which is uh, a media and culture campaign, right? So a year after I outed myself, we got on the cover of Time Magazine, right? It was the first time that a mainstream publication put undocumented people on the cover. And then I knew before we even started to find American that I wanted to do a film. So this is actually my second film. I'm about to do a third one. Um, but this is not the film that I thought I was going to make. Originally, I was going to make a Dream Act-oriented film, like a Dream Act meets Waiting for Superman, the documentary that I mean that was kind of my original conception, and then the film organically changed. Um, and to me, film is important, as is you know because culture is important. Um, I think at Define American, we think that culture is politics. You cannot change politics unless you change culture. So our work is squarely about changing how films and television and the news media reflect and represent undocumented people. So that's why I felt really compelled to make a film. As a story, I wanted to take immigration out of this Latino, brown, U.S., Mexico border box that we've kind of all locked it into, right? Take it out of that. And then also take it out of this political box, right? Whenever you hear or read about immigration, it's usually from the perspective of politics and politicians. So I wanted to make an intensely personal story. I just, I just didn't kind of assume or plan that it would be mine. Um, and, you know, as a writer and a filmmaker, I, um, I kind of gravitate towards the gray area, right? It's not about what's legal and what's not legal or, what, or what's right or what's wrong or what's black or white. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, everything is gray, right? Um, and that's really what the film is about. Like, it kind of, it, it, it exposes a lot of gray areas. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, kind of a, I'm kind of a cinephile. So I know that personal documentaries... Has kind of a high, they have a higher bar of working because usually they get really kind of self aggrandizing or self important or just like the cringe factor is pretty high, right? And that's why I didn't want to make, I mean, I frankly wasn't sure how, how I was going to come across on camera. You know, like, am I going to be able to like be in the film and direct the film at the same time? Um, but as the film kind of kept evolving, I like to think of this film as an act of, you know, artistic civil disobedience. You know, the fact that there's 11 million undocumented people in this country and I'm privileged enough to actually make a film, right? A thousand people get deported and what do I do? I make a film that's in a theater near you and is about to air on national television. I mean, that's my privilege. And with privilege comes a tremendous amount of responsibility. Um, And I think that's what this film shows. I'm really looking forward to be at your annual conference in about three weeks, and I'll see you there.